my channel. I am Christina Artistry and you probably already know what this video is about because you saw it in the title. I have the So Jaded palette in my hand, in my possession. I'm super, super excited about this baby. The minute I got it, I was like, ugh. I showed you guys on Instagram a few little swatches, but I have not used it yet. Well, I use it now because I did this, but I had waited until today to play with it, so I was super, super excited. This is the So Jaded palette with Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. And let me tell you guys before I open it, it is so beautiful, the packaging, everything. But uh, let's just get into it. Let's just dive. Let's just dive in. I mean, come on. These colors are impressive. They are just beautiful, beautiful colors. All of the tones. And there's a little moment for everyone. If you're a neutral girl, if you love color, it's a, definitely a nice palette that you can kind of do any kind of look with. Um, and really think outside of the box. These are colors that I typically would go for or typically things that I would personally wear. But I definitely wanted to experiment, which is why I ended up with this beautiful smoky moment. Um, I immediately gravitated towards onyx and emerald because those shadows in person, they just look so rich and beautiful. And I knew that I had to create a look for you guys with them. So that's why I went ahead and chose those two. I could also be biased because my favorite colors are green and black. I don't know. That's a side note. But I really, really wanted to play with those two colors as my first try with these, so I'm super happy. Um, the colors in this palette is beautiful. What's really cool about the palette is actually this is the biggest palette that ColourPop has ever made. It has 30 shades, and not only does it have 30 shades, but it has a bunch of different textures. They have a pearlized, they have pressed glitters, satin shadows, matte shadows. There is something for everyone in this palette. I would definitely highly recommend buying this palette. I mean, it's just, it's just, uh, I mean, look at it. Um, yeah, so let's just dive right into it. If you guys want to learn how to get these eyes, just keep watching. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with gold dust from the palette, and I'm just going to kind of buff this all over the lid. And I'm going to do this in circular motions. And the reason I like to do this in circular motions, I know I explain this in every video, but it just buffs everything out and creates very seamless lines. That's why we're doing that. This palette, guys, is so beautiful. Like... I'm not a big product junkie, but I saw this on Trend Mood and I was like, I have to buy this palette. And originally I wasn't actually gonna buy it. I was like, oh no, like let me not go crazy. But then my friend posted it and I was like, okay, this is a sign. Or at least I'm gonna make it a sign. I'm gonna say that I need the palette. That's how <laughs> this happened. But anyways, I'm really happy I did get it because there's a lot of colors that I don't actually have. And there's a lot of beautiful colors in this palette. Like, the I said this is gold dust. The color I'm using is a Geodude. Wow, I'm a great YouTuber. This is a really pretty transition color. Like, I could use this as an everyday feeling. Okay. Now I'm going to take a little bit of pearl with a bullet brush, and I'm just going to highlight underneath my brow bone. Take the same brush from earlier and just blend out. Now I'm grabbing Onyx with a bullet brush. So again, I'm just concentrating that color in the center of my eye and bringing it upwards and then the same thing at the end. Concentrating most of it here at the end of the eye, also still kind of blending into the top of the crease to where it kind of connects. And then I'm leaving the lid space open because that's where we're gonna, you know, do the situation. So I'm actually going to go ahead and buff that again. The key is kind of buff in between layers so it just doesn't make a huge mess and they just look nice and blended together. I hope you guys can hear me better because I had this air compressor on before which in all of my videos I always get complaints about the audio so I'm hoping that that will make it a little bit better for you complainers out there. You know who you are. So again, just kind of adding to the eye, building it. I don't like to go too heavy from the beginning because it's better to add than to take away. And I'm kind of switching between my blending brushes just cause, just cause. I like one brush for certain things to blend certain types and I like other things. And I'm still doing circular motion. And I'm bringing that all in over here and just blend my little hand off. I take my ring finger and I'm going to dip that into emerald and I'm just going to layer that in the middle. It's so creamy, so beautiful. Oof, the color. Love it. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that all in the center there. And the reason I like to do it with my finger is because it just picks up the pigment better. 
and it makes it more reflective. The warmth of your finger helps mesh it onto your skin, melt it onto your skin, mesh it, what kind of terminology is that? So I'm gonna go ahead and just layer a little bit in the center there, boom, beautiful, done. So then I'm gonna go back in with the bullet brush and I'm going to intensify the black, or the onyx, I should say. And I'm blending that out. So next I'm gonna go ahead and take opal with my finger again, which is the pressed glitter, which this is so pretty. And I'm just going to apply that right over the emerald green and that's what's gonna give us that glitter. And I'm only layering it on top of the emerald green again. And then what I did on this side was I went back in with the emerald just to kind of bring back a little bit of the green and I layered a little bit on top of the glitter. But then I did it again. I did a little more of the opal. So I did two layers of each, pretty much, just so we didn't lose the beautiful emerald and we still get that glitter effect on the eye. Oof. Now I'm taking my eyeliner and I will put down which one it is on there because I really have no idea. And I'm gonna go in my waterline on the top, a little bit of depth into that. Oof, this eye, the glitter, it's so pretty. Then I'm gonna just add a little bit of the liner only, honestly, on where I put the black. And this is just kind of to intensify a little bit. And I'm gonna take that bullet brush and I'm going to buff that into the black. That's just gonna give us a little extra layer of definition into those two With my MAC Fluid Line in Privet, I'm gonna go ahead and line my bottom waterline. And this is kind of like a green, emerald green, I'm sorry if I, you guys can't really see what's happening here, but it's an emerald green liner. I'm just gonna put that in the waterline. It's just gonna blend everything on the bottom. Guys, I have a mess. There is fallout everywhere, but that's okay. We're gonna take care of it in a little bit. Don't worry, trust me, I know what I'm doing. So now I'm gonna go ahead with the bullet brush and emerald. Again, I'm gonna hit, emer hit it with emerald. I'm actually gonna spray with some Fix Plus. And I'm just going to do the whole underwater line with the emerald. Oof, super pretty. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of Geodude and just go right underneath so it gives us a smoky edge. With my flat elf brush, I'm gonna go ahead in with a little bit of onyx and I'm really just gonna do this tight line into the waterline. And this is really just to define the waterline a little bit with some darkness. So I'm not really trying to make it too smoky under here because I do want the green to really stand out on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of buff out edges here. I'm going to first curl it. And I'm going to just put mascara on the top. I am obsessed with this eye. Honestly, I'm obsessed with the palette. I'm really impressed. I love ColourPop. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the lash. Now that I have that on, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lower lashes. Okay, now here's the trick. I don't have a wipe, so I'm gonna go in with a Q-tip and some makeup remover from Neutrogena. And I'm just going to clean up underneath. That's why I said don't worry, because if you can look crazy, we can clean it up. So I'm done with the eyes. I'm gonna go in with my Neutrogena Skin Foundation and I'm obsessed. This is in natural beige, and I'm just going to apply this all over the skin. Oh, I feel so much better already putting, <sighs> felt so naked. I would also like to point out that I was at the beach this weekend and I am now a lot tanner <laughs> than my foundation color. This is a problem. It's okay, I can fix that with a little bronzer. I'm not stressing. I'm going in with my concealer. I'm just gonna put this under my eye, give me a little brightness, that is a lot brighter. And I anticipated. So I'm going close, but not super, super close to where it erases what I did. I just want to make everything seamless, give me a little bit of brightness underneath the eye. See the difference? So now I gotta bronze myself up because apparently that is no longer my color. I'm going in with Dark Tan by MAC on the cheeks, make myself look Dominican again because I look white. Can't forget my forehead. That's my dog, guys. His birthday's on Wednesday. Oh, his birthday's today when you guys watch this. Probably take him to the dog park. He's so cute. I'll have to put a picture of him here because it's his birthday. Now I'm going in with my Milani 
Amber Nectar Illuminating Face Powder, and I'm gonna use this as my blush. Boom. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Ofra highlighter in whatever color this is. Just going to apply a little bit with my ring finger on the high points of my cheeks. So now I'm gonna go in with my Milani lip liner, and I use this in almost every video, I feel it feels like at least. And then I'm gonna add the infallible right on top. Alright guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Come join the YouTube family. Um, I am really interested in doing a series where I create some more looks with the So Jaded palette. I just feel like it would be just an injustice if I only did one. Love to do something with these blues over here or these oranges, peaches. I really am dying to play with this guy right here, this pressed glitter. So let me know down below if you guys want to see any specific colors or if you're interested in seeing this series. And yeah, until next time. Cristina, 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 me llamo Cristina, 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 Cristina,